life processes lecture number 2 before we start in continuation to the previous lecture that is lecture number 1 there are few important definitions which weren't discussed there those will be discussed right here right now so the important definitions of lecture 1 are enzymes the biological catalyst that speeds up the rate of the biochemical reactions in the body peristalsis the process of wave like contractions and relaxations of the elementary tract that pushes the foot downward throughout the tract gastric glands the glands present in the wall of the stomach that release hcl pepsin and mucus for the digestion pepsin a digestive enzyme found in the gastric juice that catalyzes and breaks down the proteins to peptides it is recommended that you have to remember these definitions Willy. These are numerous projections arising from the inner lining of the intestines, which increase the surface area for absorption. Ejection. The elimination of the waste and undigested matter from the digestive tract throughout the anus. bile a digestive juice secreted by the liver stored in the gall bladder and helps in the digestion of fats similarly i recommend you to remember these definitions so we are entering lecture 2 right now in this lecture we will be learning about another important life process and some theory regarding it the next important life process which we will be discussing about is respiration so coming to respiration Respiration is a process by which we or any other organism breathe air. We all know that breathing is very very essential for our survival. Now, let's learn what actually respiration means. So, Let's define what respiration is. It is a process by which food is burned by living cells to release energy in the form of ATP for various body purposes. During respiration, the digested food material are broken down to release energy in the form of ATP. coming to the types of respiration there are basically two types of respiration depending on the requirement of oxygen these are aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration aerobic respiration is the respiration that occurs in the presence of oxygen whereas anaerobic respiration is a respiration that occurs in the absence of oxygen it is recommended that you remember this too coming to the actual definition of these types of respiration coming to aerobic respiration 
is a metabolic process that uses oxygen to break down food and produce carbon dioxide and water along with the release of energy anaerobic respiration it is also a metabolic process in which nutrients are broken down in the absence of oxygen to release energy we recommend you to remember these two definitions also now let us learn what actually happens in respiration Firstly the glucose will be broken down into a three carbon molecule called as pyruvate this process will take place in the cytoplasm of the cell then this pyruvate is converted into ethanol and carbon dioxide this part is anaerobic as it occurs in the absence of air and it happens in the mitochondria of the cell This process breaks up the three carbon pyruvate molecule to a, to give three molecules of carbon dioxide. The other product formed is water. Since this process takes place in the presence of oxygen, it is called as a aerobic respiration. The release of energy in the aerobic process is much more greater than the one released in the anaerobic one. Please remember this. Sometimes when there is a lack of oxygen, this pyruvate gets converted into lactic acid. Given below is an entire sketch of what we have discussed till now. Please have a look. It's up to you if you want to remember or not. But it's still recommended that you should remember. the energy released during cellular respiration is immediately used to synthesize a molecule called as atp which is used to fuel all the other activities in the cell in this process atp is broken down to give rise to a fixed amount of energy which can drive the endothermic reactions taking place in the cell Now let us learn about ATP. ATP stands for adenosine triphosphate. It is an energy currency for most cellular processes. The energy released during the process of respiration is used to make the ATP molecule from ADP and inorganic phosphate. Given below is a chemical equation which shows the production of ATP. some important facts plants release carbon dioxide at night and oxygen during the day terrestrial organisms use atmospheric oxygen for respiration whereas aquatic organisms use the dissolved oxygen in the water for respiration Now let us learn the respiration process in humans. This is how the setup looks in a human being. And given to the left of the screen is the procedure in which the air passes through the human. Firstly, the air will enter the nose. as shown then it passes the nasal passage then the pharynx then to the larynx and down to the trachea then it enters the bronchi and then to the bronchiole and finally enters the alveolus <coughs> now given is a picture of how alveoli looks Alveoli of lungs are richly supplied with blood and these are the sites where exchange of gases occurs between the blood and the atmosphere. In humans the respiratory pigment known as hemoglobin 
carries oxygen from lungs to different tissues of the body. The continuation can be found in the next lecture. Thank you for watching.